another product comparison. You know, I really like the look of the one on the left. The, the pot would be great. So think of that picture at the start. I'm making a platter for my loved ones coming over. Oh, I'm a little bit time poor. I'm going to grab this one because it looks like I've put the dip in my own little serving pot. Amazing. Uh, what's in it? It doesn't even have fresh basil. Um, it's a basil puree because they need to standardise it in flavour and texture uh, across the board. So every single product will have the same texture, the same colour, the same everything. So they try and make things like the basil puree so that it's controlled. So in that basil puree, we've got basil, canola oil, dextrose, which is sugar, salt, antioxidants, acidity regulators, and a thickener. Great. And then that's added to canola oil, cashew nuts, the parmesan cheese, which is milk and blah, 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 blah. There's a bit of spinach powder in there because, again, we can't have too much water mixture, so we've dehydrated the spinach. Invert sugar syrup. It goes on. Maltodextrin, preservatives 211 and 202. Uh, we get the gist, gist there. So it's got a whole lot of things that we've already mentioned. On the other side of things, we could make one at home very easily with some extra virgin olive oil, a clove of garlic, a bunch of basil leaves, Chuck it all in the blender. You can add other uh, green leaf if you want to. Rocket spinach, carrot tops works. Oops, that's a spelling error. That's meant to be radish leaves. Salt, pepper. You can choose to put in some dry sort of cheese, pecorino or parmesan. You can choose to put in nut or no nut and just blend the crap out of it for 30 seconds and it's ready. It took you five minutes and it's a fresh, no crap, yummy, versus that other thing on the side. 